And now to campaign 2021. The candidates for mayor are now reacting to a late alliance forged in the final days of this race. CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports. A campaign kept cool with mayoral candidate Eric Adams in waters off Orchard Beach for a dip with no slip in the polls. He described as strange the very noticeable partnership of Catherine Garcia and Andrew Yang as ranked choice voting changes the campaign playbook. I would urge anyone who is supporting me uh, as their first choice, please do have Catherine Garcia on your ballot. I'm not co-endorsing. We are campaigning together. I am not telling my voters what to do. I want them to get out there and I want them to use the system that we have for ranked choice. Not just joint campaign speeches and campaign stops, but also joint campaign literature. This, hot off the presses. Adams said he thinks the two are teaming up to prevent a black or because Latino person from becoming game. mayor. Uh, number one, uh, they criticize each other on the trail all the time. What do you think? It means. Look, I'm focused on June 22nd. I'm focused on asking voters to make me their number one. Candidate Maya Wiley said the Garcia Yang alliance does not trouble her. I'm not calling it a trick or a manipulation. Let me be clear. I mean, I, I'm talking about everyone makes their own choices and how they run. David Birdsell is dean of the Austin W. Mark School of Public and International Affairs and predicts it could take more than a month to figure out the Democratic mayoral nomination. We are almost certainly going to see uh, the votes go past the first choice. Nobody at this point is cresting 50%. You need to crest 50% to get the nomination. We'll see who's number one. We'll see who's number two in ranked voting. We'll see who's number three, and then the fun starts. At his Saturday campaign stops, Scott Stringer made no mentions of Garcia and Yang teaming up. Just that ranked choice voting can result in a wild ride. Because you never know when a three becomes a one. You never know when a two becomes a one. You never know what happens until the tenth round. How well these new alliances and strategies play out will get revealed with the final tally. Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.